Smallville has returned everybody we've just watched Escape and um, wow it was a cute episode in many ways um, cute in the whole Lois and Clark factor cute for Chloe and Oliver um, not so cute for Tess and Zod I'll get to that one in a bit but first let's talk about the actual episode itself and what it was really about um, Chloe not Chloe Clark and Lois um, decide to go away for the weekend together. A romantic weekend, by the way, may I add. Um, and this particular sort of where they've where they've gone to this little um, cabin, as I would probably like to call it. Um, the reception receptionist is a is a woman with a surname McDougal. Um, for those of you who know the comics, um, you'll know that McDougal is, the, is a sh surname for uh, Siobhan McDougal, who is also known as the Silver Banshee. Um, she has this evil, loud wail noise that she does that, um, yeah, can kill people. <laughs> it's quite, it's quite effective. In the in the episode, it says that she's only after men because she was betrayed by her uncle. Whereas in the comics, um, it's when she says the person's name and she does her whale noise, that's when she then kills that person. But as I say in, 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 ep in the episode in Smallville, they decide to change it slightly and say that she's only gone after she's only going after men. Now, that sort of made the episode remind me of um, Spirit from season four, you know, where Dawn Styles takes over um, Martha Kent, L Lana Lang, um, Chloe Sullivan, and as well as Clark Kent, you know, she takes over their bodies. And um, it reminded me so much about that because what the spirit of Siobhan McDougall does is transfer from one female body to another female body. So she went from one of the, uh, you know, and there was, there was a couple that were already in there, in like the lobby area of this of this hotel kind of place, and she possessed a woman from that from there, and then she then possessed Chloe and then possessed Lois, so she kind of went from woman to woman, and that's what reminded me of Dawn Styles. Um, so eventually, Chloe figured out how to destroy um, Siobhan with the help of the uh, receptionist as well. The the other part was obviously, as I say, we're going to the romantic factor now. Um, Clark and Lois. Don't get me wrong, I am all for Clovis. I am a Clovis fan, right down to the core. I don't want for too much Clovis to be happening because there has to be a level of, you know, of other bits of, of Smallville happening. Let's not forget that first and foremost, Smallville is primarily about Clark becoming Superman. First and foremost, that's what it's all about. Yes, we know that they started off having Lana and Chloe and, and Clark getting together and all that sort of stuff. And then there was a possibility of maybe Clark and Chloe and this, that and the other. Now that Lois has arrived, now it's all Clark and Lois. And it was, this episode sort of like almost cemented in some ways. It cemented their relationship because they got into bed together, which was very interesting. Um, Chloe, uh, Lois went all, all out dressing up sexy for Clark and everything. Um, but then there was an added surprise of Chloe and Oliver but they were only there as a fun weekend away so it wasn't a romantic weekend away like Clark and Lois they were there they were having fun as Chloe told um, Lois I thought that was very cute um, but the other side of this episode involved Tess and Zod Cassidy Freeman as Tess Mercer it's just fantastic and you know I think I think she works really hard for the character and she has done so well in Smallville lately um, the way that she um, found out that Zod has powers was amazing she outed him like he would never believe um, she figured out how to weaken him with kryptonite obviously um, and now Zod wants to know how how Tess knows all that, you know, how did he know about the weakness side of things, how did he know, how did she know that he got his powers and everything, and this, the particular, this particular scene where Tess, Tess and Zod are in 
the, the, the Kent farm, they're in the barn, there was a moment where it reminded me of Superman 2, where Clark and Lois have gone away to Niagara Falls to a hotel and um, Lois is trying to, you know, confirm that Clark is Superman and she basically shoots him with a gun. Um, now, you're probably wondering, no, I've not seen that, but the version that, the, that scene I'm talking about is actually from the Richard Donner version of Superman 2. So if you've seen that, you'll know what I mean. Obviously, in the one that, we've all, that we're all familiar with, which is from Richard Lester's version, it's when he puts his hand into the fire to pick out the cone, that, these glasses that he's dropped, and, you know, obviously his hand's not burnt or anything. But in this one, um, Clark Lois is, you know, is about shooting Clark with a gun to confirm that he is Superman. So that's what Tess does to Zod. And as I say, what happens after that, Zod becomes a bad boy. He becomes so bad and so evil in that he poses as the blur, calling Lois. Yes, that's right. Zod calls Lois on the phone, posing as the blur. All this is happening, by the way, whilst Clark is also in the same room as Lois as said phone conversation is happening. But Clark doesn't pick up on a super hearing who's on the phone. So he has no idea that Zod is portraying himself as the blur. If and when he finds out, well, this is going to be interesting. Obviously Clark doesn't know that Zod has powers. Tess knows. Tess is now the only person who knows that Zod has powers. Whether she's going to tell Clark or anybody else, that's down to her, but I don't think she will. She's going to keep it for herself. She's going to try and keep Zod under her thumb kind of thing. So that's going to be interesting to see. Um, but overall, as I say, the episode, cute for Clark and Chloe and Clark and, no, Clark and Lois, Chloe and Oliver, um, bad in a, in a sense of Tess and Zod. But there was something else interesting that went that happened between Tess and Zod, but I'm not going to mention that. You've got to see it as well. You've got to see that because, um, yeah, it twists things in some ways. It does twist things. It kind of like how they. It's a way of. For them saying that they don't trust each other, but at the same time they kind of do trust each other. But you have to watch it to know what I'm talking about. So um, that's it from now from me. Um, we're going to be back next week. Um, I've completely forgotten what episode it is that I'm going to be reviewing next week but I have now been able to find a way to watch Smallville live online so I'm not going to be behind from now on which is great so hence why this review is actually earlier than normal so yeah fantastic I can't wait I'll see you all next Friday enjoy